Good evening. More than 5,000 people in Bristol will be taking tests this week to find out if they've had coronavirus without knowing. The volunteers are part of a long-running Bristol University study of children born in the 90s and their families. Well, the tests will show if they have COVID antibodies, which should give scientists crucial data on how the virus is spreading and what might happen next. Karen Bell reports. A small test that could tell us a lot about coronavirus. If Danielle has antibodies, then she's probably had COVID without realising. It's a strange thought. A little bit scary, but then interesting to know. I would, I'm, I'm really keen to find out for sure. Um, I was actually quite ill at the beginning of the year with what I thought was a chest infection. Um, my boyfriend thinks since this has all happened, that actually perhaps I did have COVID. Having antibodies doesn't mean you're immune, but the test does help scientists see how COVID spreads. Danielle's one of 5,000 Bristolians being tested. They're all part of Children of the 90s, a Bristol University project that's been tracking people ever since they were born in the early 90s. It's the most detailed study of its kind in the world, and in the current crisis, it could be extra useful. 30 years of work has gone into collecting data about people's lives and their families and their health. Now with COVID-19, what we want to do is try and work out who's been affected by the disease and who has been challenged by the virus, and to glue those things together, understanding what's happening to them now, but in the context of what we know about them in the past. We can then look to see who has had the disease, who may go on to go and get it, and how they change forward in time as well. Amy is another child of the 90s. She's been homeschooling her own children while trying to complete a psychology degree and has been giving her data to scientists all her life. I think a lot of study participants appreciate the huge wealth of information that children of the 90s can provide to the academic community worldwide. But I think most importantly, we need to remember that they got us a day off school every year when we were younger, and I think we owe them that. And so Amy too will be taking an antibody test. They aren't widely available to the general public yet, so the number being done in Bristol is unusual. Like Amy and like Danielle, a lot of people want to help. The response to all the work that we've done since the beginning of the pandemic has been astounding. We've never seen so much recruitment and it just shows how many people in Bristol and part of Children of the 90s wants to, want to help and to help us do research on COVID-19. For nearly 30 years, Bristol's 20-somethings have been monitored and measured. Never has their data been as important as it is now. Karen Bell, ITV News. Bristol.